What's up, everybody? This is Chris Hernandez with Level Up Time Studio, and we're back with another episode of Should You Play? The show where I let adults and parents know how appropriate certain games are. So today, or rather this week, we're getting into it with Rogue Company. So, Rogue Company, what is it? Rogue Company is a free-to-play multiplayer third-person shooter video game developed by First Watch Games and published by Hi Res Studios. The game is released into open beta on October 1st, 2020. That's this year. You can play Rogue Company on Windows via the Epic Game Store, Xbox, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and Google Stadia. The game starts you out with six free rogues who each have their own special abilities. The more you play as a rogue, the more your mastery with that particular character goes up. This is separate from your actual profile level. Now, how kid appropriate is the content and what should we know? I mean, there's a lot to know here. The game is realistic, meaning that there's no crazy special abilities like laser beams, summoning dragons, etc. Most special moves are somewhat grounded in real life tech. With that being said, the game offers three different modes, demolition, extraction, and strikeout. They each play a tad each play a tad different from each other, but they share one similar concept, which is to take over a certain point on the map and rack up as many kills as you can. Now, let's get to my favorite part here. There is an in-game store, and you all know how much I hate in-game stores. It allows players to purchase emotes, spray tags, and skins. There are two types of in-game currencies, badges and rogue bucks. Badges can be attained through leveling up, completing contracts, and finishing matches. However, the main currency here is the rogue bucks, which can only obtain be obtained by spending real-world money. Before I move on, you can unlock other characters by either saving up badges, purchasing a certain game edition, which can cost you between $15 and $60 of real-life money, or by purchasing rogue bucks. So, is there a social component? Big yes here, people. Rogue Company is a four-person, team-based, third-person shooter. You need to talk to your team as communication between teammates can make or break a game. This is where things get dangerous, as I always say. Talk to your kids. Make sure they know Stranger Danger applies to people both online and not just people they see in the street. So what's the cost here? The game is free to pay unless your kid swipes your credit card. Then it could cost you an undefined amount of cash. And I say undefined because there are so many options in terms of purchasing this, these, this fake digital content that you can wind up spending a ton of money here. So, what's my final rating or my approval? Um, I definitely say this game is 18 plus. Uh, the game's so hyper realistic that I would only recommend it for older players and players that know the pitfalls of spending a lot of cash in games and also ones that know that, you know, not everyone you meet online are your best friends that you invite to your Discord. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this on Instagram, throw me a follow. Don't forget to tune in to the Level Up Time Studio podcast, available on all podcasting platforms. Again, this is Chris Hernandez. You've been watching Should You Play, and we'll see what we review next week.